Why you crying, fool? <laughs> cause it's, cause these famous rappers be stealing my beats, Curtis. Can you, do you got a solution for that? You stop crying, I got you. Producers. This is a topic I don't want to make too much light of because I know it's probably a lot of y'all out there fuming and this is probably not something you want to make light of, but have you ever had this happen? Maybe some of you hoping this happens. I hope you don't hope this happens. That's a lot of hoping. But I know producers, including myself, that have had quote unquote famous rappers or rappers with a, with a heavy you know, uh, influence and persuasion. They've had them steal their beats directly off their SoundCloud directly off of their YouTube. And you know, this comes with the territory when you put your music up there untagged, excuse me, you put your music up there untagged and, and, and you leave it out there for the public, anybody can take it. No matter if, if it's YouTube or not and there's no download button, people have converters. So that being said, if you've ever been a producer that has had your music stolen, I know how you feel. Here are a few things that you can do right now to help yourself out. The first thing that I would say do is say it's actually an artist that you like and say they actually took your music and but they're just not crediting you. Maybe they did credit you and maybe they're not actually contacting you about any kind of money. Maybe you tried to contact them, they didn't get back to you. Here's what you do first. Take advantage of this free publicity. All this free publicity going around you, I need you to look at this as like a billboard on your most busiest freeway in, in, in your city. In my city, in my, my city, with, within my state, it's probably the 405 freeway. It's like a huge billboard. Now that this person has your song, and even if they don't credit you, it doesn't matter. This is where you gotta become a tagging and an SEO specialist on YouTube, and you gotta make sure that you fall in line with those videos. You need to make sure that your videos, whatever you create that are based upon that video, they follow that thing like a hound dog to a scent. Here's the kind of videos that I'm talking about making. First things first, you should make a behind the beat video. You should make up, say for instance, the artist that stole your beat was, um, and, and no disrespect to this man, say it was Drake that took your beat, okay? He don't need to take beats, he got too much money, he'd pay you, I'm sure he would. But say it was Drake that stole your beat. Here's what you would do, you would put, um, you know, say the song was called uh, 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 Out This World. You put uh, Drake Out This World behind the beat video. And then you put your name in there and insert it produced by uh, I Got A Lot Of Beats, whoever. And you put that within the title, you are going to now be searched. Every time somebody looks for that new song, you're going to be now searched with it. And as people start to comment and say, oh, you produced that? You respond to every comment, it's gonna make your video be full of more value to the actual search engine because people are commenting. You're commenting back, the threads are longer. Now that they see that, you're gonna get pushed up right with that video. So what you do is you pump that video out, you get high quality, you show how you made the beat, you break it down into pieces. It don't have to be long, but break it down into pieces and you basically tag that video full of tags as if you were promoting the original Drake song. You put it in your description as if you're promoting the original Drake song. Maybe even go to their video and go to one of these websites that tell you the tags of videos. Go find the tags in that videos, copy the tags, bunch them up with your tags. Now you're following that song wherever that song goes, your promotion goes with it. You put your website in there. Now you're getting new customers who are based, who are based upon that traffic are now finding out a way to go ahead and get to you and get some money in your pocket. So at some point, the, you, the people got to pay the piper. You gotta get your money, and you will get your money if you follow these steps. The second thing you can do, I highly suggest it. If you're trying to contact these people, and you know, they're busy, I understand it, but if they're not getting back to you, and say they decide, you know, I'm gonna put this song out, say I got two million, two million plays, there's about a 90% chance that thing is going to streaming websites. Here's what you do. You bypass the process by uploading the instrumental. It's your instrumental, right? You have the rights to it, as long as no sampling, you have the rights to it, upload that instrumental. Upload it on a streaming website and just make it available as a beat that you produce and put instrumental. Maybe even put, you know, uh, 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 out of this world instrumental and just have it as your producer name. What's gonna happen is they're going to now find problems from stealing that beat, they're gonna find problems because now Everywhere that that song goes, YouTube, wherever, is going to get flagged as being owned by somebody else. Ha ha. 
Now, that may not work foolproof on all the streaming websites. They may still be able to put it up there with your streaming websites. You know, the Apple Music and the Spotify. It's not foolproof, but it at least gives you another layer of blockage to where somebody at some point in time, some kind of representation has to reach out to you. Yo, man, look. We think this song could be a huge deal. We want to start talking paperwork with you. We want to, you know, but if you don't find any kind of leverage, they ain't got no reason to reach out to you. We'll talk to you for what? We got the beat. What you going to do, sue us? Can you afford to be sued? You can't even, you mad about the money you didn't get. That's how they, the philosophy of a lot of them are. So in that case, put yourself in a position to where now they look at it and say, damn, this fool didn't put up on a stream. Okay, let's reach out to him. Let's see what he want. Reach out to you. You know, have a fair price, whatever you think is fair. And, and you know, don't overshoot it trying to try to get a payday off of one thing you know maybe even shoot a bit, bit lower so that you can say you know what? i want to have this relationship with you guys and you build from there don't shoot too low but make sure you have it to something that says look i'm more involved in wanting to get the relationship if you want the relationship some people don't want it some people want the money get your paper at all costs but those were two ways that i feel that could definitely help you if your beat got stolen um, I mean, don't try to call the police. Don't get on Twitter and start adding a person and getting your fans to add them. That's just not the way to do it. There's ways that you can do it and still hold a level of um, humility, but at the same time, hold a level of honor for your own name. And I think that those are two ways that can help you right now. Once again, it's another perspiration doodle. Look, if you need some more of this juice, please subscribe to the channel below. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Please share these videos. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters that are helping these videos continue. Patreon.com in case you want to donate. Patreon.com slash Curtis King is a place to go. Look, if you find that somebody has stolen your beat, you have steps that you can take. But for the most part, you got to move and you got to move fast because you don't want to have to play catch up. So once you see that happen, just jump. Go ahead and, and jump in the mix of it and you'll find that you'll get the things that you've been looking for from this new elevation and platform that you're on. In this life, my friend, you will not be full of life until you decide to live life to its fullest. Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com when I listen to you, it's a liability Cause you be mentally killing my inner energy So I'm concealing my feelings before you injure me